Hey guys, Adam here. Today I have a video on Photector. Photector is a city tweak that was just updated to have iOS 5 support. You can get it for free in the Big Boss repo, and it's created by Mo Seth. Now the purpose of Photector is very simple. This tweak allows you guys to protect your photos from being deleted, and there's two different modes, and you can access the modes under settings. So navigate over to settings, and then scroll down until you see Photector, and just click on it. And here are the two different modes. So the first mode here is disable delete button. And this basically makes it so the delete button is useless and does nothing. And then the second mode is use password. And use password allows you to put a password on your photos. So when someone tries to delete the photo, they'll have to enter your password. And I just have mine as spacebar and you can enter the password right here in settings. Alright, so first off, I'll demo the password option, and as you guys can see here, I have a photo here, and the tweak is enabled, so when I click the delete button, it's going to ask me for the password. So, password, password to delete, and of course my password is just spacebar, so I enter that, and I click delete, and it deletes it. However, if I do the same thing and my password is wrong, so I'll just enter like random characters, I click delete, it's not going to work, and the photo stays here. The next option is disable delete button and this one basically makes it so the delete button is useless. So basically I'm on a photo here and when I try to delete it, as you guys can see there, nothing happens. You just see that little animation showing you guys that the delete button is not working. Anyways guys, that is Photector. It's a free city tweak. You can get it in the Big Boss repo. Real quick before you guys leave the video, I want to ask you guys a question. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you want to see videos like this where I show updates to maybe iOS 4 or iOS 3 tweaks? Because this was, for example, a iOS 4 tweak. It hasn't been updated in 10 months. However, the developers just updated it to have iOS 5 support, and that's the reason why I'm making the video. So do you guys want to see these types of videos with updates from old tweaks? Let me know in the comments section below. And besides that, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like ring down below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button above to be informed when I post all my new daily tweak and theme reviews. Anyways guys, thanks all for watching.